Now is your time to receive the prayer. Is your time to be prayed for? Is your time to pray? Continue to pray in the mind of Jesus. Those pains must leave you now. Those troubles must come out from your house. They must come out from you. Continue to pray in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray for yourself, for your children, for your house. It's long that you were paying money for your health. Here is Jesus Christ who is here today. He will take out those sicknesses from you. Free of charge because he has paid by his blood. For you to be healed, Jesus Christ has paid. For you to be delivered, Christ has paid already by his body. By his blood. Continue to pray. Continue to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, continue to call this name of the Lord. This name of the Lord is the strong tower. Oh, run to this name. Nothing can stand before this name. The powerful name, the name of Jesus Christ. All the chains must be broken right now. All heavy yokes must be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord and our Savior. This name of Jesus yes. is the powerful name. All, all who are calling this name of the Lord Jesus receive By deliverance. Receive By whatever they want from no him. No you you Continue to pray. The fire Holy Spirit is helping you also to receive. The fire Holy Spirit is opening many doors for you to receive. Christ himself is setting you free. Continue to pray in the name of Jesus. You are going to see wonders. The wonders from this name of the Lord Jesus. Miracles are yours. In the name of Jesus. Miracles are yours in the name of Jesus. from Jesus all the pains I command them to leave you now in Jesus name
are watching through the screen of television, lift up your hands as you will be receiving from Jesus. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. You can touch that screen of television. I'm praying for you now in the name of Jesus. I command every pain and sickness you have in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm stopping all the problems you have. Again, I'm stopping those challenges which you have in the name of Jesus. I'm commanding those moving things in your body to leave you now in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance, receive your peace, receive your healing, receive your blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our King. Amen. Praise the Lord. You who are here, can you take more fire? In the name of Jesus, also you who are watching, take more fire. In the name of Jesus, receive more fire, receive more fire, receive more fire in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. confirmation you know christ here is working many things great things this lady when she received the prayer in that side she was there in the emergency her eyes were closed as you can see that her face is swollen but look at her now look look at me look at me 
Now her eyes are opened. So this is the confirmation of what Christ is doing. Some of the things we can see, but some of things which Christ is working here, you won't see them now by your eyes. But look what Jesus Christ did in front of us. Tell us. My eyes were closed. I could not see. She was not seeing well, but she where do you stay? She's confirming that her eyes were totally closed. I stay in Midbank. Yes. Are you seeing now that Christ loves you? Yes. Because I didn't do anything in your eyes. It's only prayer in the name of Jesus. And Jesus Christ himself touched your eyes. Hey. Really, Christ. Only believe you have received. He loves you. Amen. Amen. I'd like to greet you all in the wonderful name of my Lord and Jesus. Uh, she's Mrs. Mashabela in Daviton. I want to testify after a whole night prayer what happened to me. I want to say Prayer is, prayer is powerful. When she arrived at home after the whole night prayer, uh, yesterday morning, she could not sleep. There was a funeral around her home. Then she went to assist. Then her children followed her. Okay, there was a, a visitor in her, her house that comes from, that came from Petersburg. So my Then uh, she was advised to come with her with her with her and then she refused. Then uh, Mama decided to go back to her house ever since she left a visitor in the house who refused to go with her. When Mama came back to her house only to find that the visitor is in Mama's uh, bedroom, uh, she have, uh, the visitor have opened wardrobes and dressing tables. Then when she was asked, what are you looking for in my bedroom? Then she couldn't answer. Then she went to, to look at the visitor's suitcase to look whether the visitor didn't take some things from the house. In the visitor's suitcase, there was full of mooties. Then Mama said, no, since in your bag there's full of medicine, I'll ask you to excuse me from my house and then you'll come back after the funeral. Then the, the visitor came back late in the evening, then she refused to eat. When mama waked up at two, going to, wanting to go and pray, how? She, mama finds the visitor in her dining room naked. 
Then mama asked her what are you doing? Mese ngiyamtshela ukuthi phela la ikhaya ke yathandazwa. Then mama said here in this house we are praying. Uma uze ngobubi If you came here with your bad things. Yes, you must know we are praying in this house. Your things that you came with they will never work in this house. Then she started mama started calling fire. Then she started saying I'm burning all in the with the within the name of Jesus. What I want to say is Without prayer it is impossible for us to see its things that are done by witches. What I thank God for is When we discovered that she that the visitor is 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 very tricky and naughty. Okay. The, the visitor decided to run uh, to go away in early in the morning. I thank God. Thank you. Amen.